rejoice and come in. Today will be a joyful day. Enter, rejoice and come in. Shout out with joy to the Lord. Shout out with joy to the Lord. Today. Children of the Lord, today will be a joyful day. We are the children of the Lord. My dear friends, a hearty welcome to each one of you for this holy Eucharist of love. Today we pray for your intentions. Deep within yourself, you have most precious intentions. Present to the Lord at this time. Pray for your family. Pray for your neighbors. Pray for your enemies. Pray for all your needs. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us look into ourselves deep within. Look at the sad self, the sorrowful self, and even the sinful self. Those times that we have knowingly sinned, let us ask the Lord's pardon and mercy so that we may be a little more worthy to partake in this Holy Eucharist. Let us ask the Lord's pardon and pardon from those against whom we have sinned. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my you brothers and my sisters, my sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what have I done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore I ask the blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, you, my, my brothers, brothers, my sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Constantly shape our minds. We pray, O Lord, by the practice of good works, that trying always for what is better, we may strive to hold ever fast to the Paschal mystery. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 18, verses 23 to 28. After staying in Antioch some time, Paul left and traveled in orderly sequence through the Galician country and Phrygia bringing straight to all the disciples. A Jew named Apollos, a native of Alexandria, an eloquent speaker, arrived in Ephesus. He was an authority of the scriptures. He had been instructed in the way of the Lord and with ardent spirit spoke and thought accurately about Jesus, 
although he knew only the baptism of John. He began to speak boldly in the synagogue, but when Priscilla and Aquila heard him, they took him aside and explained to him the way of God more accurately. And when he wanted to cross to Achaia, the brothers encouraged him and wrote to the disciples there to welcome him. After his arrival, he gave great assistance to those who had come to believe through grace. He vigorously refuted the Jews in public, establishing from the scriptures that the Christ is Jesus. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Your response. God is King of all the earth. God is King of all the earth. All you peoples clap your hands, shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is the great King over all the earth. Your response? God is King of all the earth. For King of all the earth is God. Sing hymns of praise. God reigns over the nations. God sits upon his throne. Your response? God is king of all the earth. The princes of the peoples are gathered together with the people of the God of Abraham. For gods are the guardians of the earth. He is supreme. Your response? God is king of all the earth. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. I came from the Father and have come into the world. Now I am leaving the world and going back to the Father. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O God. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you most solemnly, anything you ask for from the Father, he will grant in my name. Until now, you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask and you will receive, and so your joy will be complete. I have been telling you all this in metaphors. The hour is coming when I shall no longer speak to you in metaphors, but tell you about the Father in plain words. When that day comes, you will ask in my name. And I do not say that I shall pray to the Father for you, because the Father himself loves you for loving me and believing that I came from God. I came from the Father and I have come into the world and now I leave the world to go to the Father. Chapter 16, verses 23 to 28. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, Sometimes we feel that the prayers that we utter, we do not feel that these intentions are fulfilled in us. We have a lot of worries and tensions and anxieties. Many a times we feel that the intentions which I put, put forth before the altar, the intentions which I present to Our Lady, and the intentions which I pray through various saints are not fulfilled. Many a times we get depressed and worried 
anxious and we begin to question who is god is there god in this life is there the true mystery of god yes my dear friends the answer lies in today's gospel reading from john chapter 16 where the lord is telling us you pray to the father and ask him to grant it through me if you know jesus then you will know who the father is if you pray to the father without knowing who jesus is then you are praying everything in vain if you pray through saints if you pray through our lady and you do not know who the lord is then the whole purpose of our prayer is in vain dear brothers and sisters the one who became obedient to god is jesus the lord obedient unto death on the cross and that obedience teaches you and me that is the true relationship with the father and the son the lord is very happy with jesus his son because he did his will and now the lord wants to grant us whatever we need all in the name of jesus the lord so our every prayer should be through jesus christ through the intercession of jesus through the mercy of jesus and trusting in jesus christ and when you do that you will never never lack the graces that we receive from god you will receive graces in abundance be faithful to the holy eucharist where the lord himself offers himself again and again at the altar for our sake it is the direct intercession it is the direct prayer through jesus to god the father and he has come to tell us that he relates to the father and he was obedient even unto death and now that he has done his ministry handed over many elements of the ministry to us through the spirit of god now he is ready to go back to the father so all those who have come through the father will be united through his son jesus it is very important to pray through jesus our lord therefore he says ask and you will receive seek and you will find knock and the door will open for you in a very special way ask and you will receive you will receive in the name of jesus the lord do not hesitate my dear brothers and sisters let us take this opportunity to pray during this holy eucharist for all our personal intentions intentions of our families intentions of our communities and intentions of those who have asked us to pray for amen We offer you O Lord divine our humble gifts of bread and wine we place them on your altar Lord today make them worthy of your love send your blessings from above sanctify 
by these gifts, O Lord, we pray. O take our hearts, take our minds, take all we have, make them thine, O Pray, my brothers, my sisters, that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, both in this time above all to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross and by commending himself to you, for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers, with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, 
and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Derek, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other this loving sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold you who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray to Mary, our mother, for all the necessary graces, both material and spiritual. Let us ask our dear mother to intercede for us, especially for those who are sick, those who need our Lord's healing touch at this time, those who are suffering due to various illnesses, tumors, cancers, various other sicknesses, including COVID-19. We ask our dear Lord to bless all of us, bless our families with peace, joy, and happiness. We pray for Russia and Ukraine. We pray for Sri Lanka and all other countries that are suffering due to poverty, due to lack of food. We ask our dear Lord to reach out to them through us, the generous hearts. We ask you, dear Lord, to bless our children appearing for the exams. We pray for couples who are waiting for the gift of child. We pray for those who are going for interviews, preparing themselves to go for entrance exams, interviews for jobs. Bless them with success, we pray. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear friends, wishing you all a very joyful day ahead. Sing to our mother as we would sing.